Shane, and today I want to take a look at some rainbow density columns. Now this is a very pretty demonstration, and it's also a good way of understanding some science concepts. We have solutions taking place, we have buoyancy, we have density. So let's take a closer look. The layers are made by dissolving salt into water and then adding food coloring. This table shows the amount of salt that should be dissolved in 100 milliliters of water, and then the corresponding drops that should be added to it. If a balance isn't available, you can use a half a cup of water and teaspoons. Now let's take a look and see how to put this together. My first step will be to measure out the salt according to the table and add them to corresponding containers. Next I'm going to add 100 milliliters of water to each container. Note that the final container doesn't have any salt, it will just be water by itself. Now it's time to add the food card. My first container is going to be purple, and that's a mixture of red and blue. Now it's tough to get purple to look nice, so a lot of times I'll just go with five colors. My blue, green, yellow, and orange is a mixture of red and yellow, and my last container is the red. I'll also need some small pieces of this foam cup. Now that we have our solutions mixed, it's ready to add them to the graduated cylinder. I'm going to start by putting some foam pieces in here. That's going to keep the layers from mixing as I'm adding one on top of the other. I'll add the purple first since that's the densest. And that one I can simply pour in. Now from here on, I'm going to use a funnel with a small tube attached to it. Now I have seen instructions around for using sugar, but personally I prefer to use salt. Salt is a lot cheaper. If you spill something and that usually happens, sugar is going to be very sticky, but the biggest problem is that the sugar solutions will eventually get mold on them. With salt solutions, I like to leave them around for a couple weeks, and mold is never a problem. The layers stay separated because each color is at a different density. The least dense is at the top because it had no salt dissolved into it at all. As we proceed down the column, each additional color had more salt added to it, it made it denser, so it's able to support the color above it. Now when we added the salt to the water, it broke down and attached itself to the water molecules. We can keep adding salt until it becomes saturated. Now if we want further evidence that the density is decreasing as we go up this column, we can use a homemade hydrometer. A hydrometer measures the density of a liquid by comparing its buoyant force to that of pure water. To get the value of 1 gram per milliliter, I put it into pure distilled water, noted where it was, then put a mark on the straw. The second mark is for a saturated solution of salt water, which has a density of 1.2 grams. Now let's test our other solutions and see where they fall. I'll stick the hydrometer in each solution and then mark it with the respective color. First the red, then the orange, here's the yellow, the green, the blue, and finally the purple. As we would expect, we can see that the density is increasing as we go down through the colors of the column. Now, what would happen if I added my hydrometer to one of the density columns? I think it would fall somewhere in between, but let's try it. Now, this would vary greatly depending on which column we put it in, but as you can see, it does fall somewhere in between. Now, we can make these in a variety of containers. The next one I want to make is this large tube here. I have styrofoam in the bottom and a long hose with a funnel at the top. We'll add the densest material first, the purple. There we go. Now here's a really odd shaped graduated cylinder. I have no idea what these bulbs are for, but I like the shape of it, so we're going to try and make one in here. I had some difficulty keeping the cars separate, so I just went with blue, yellow, and red. I decided to try it in a few more containers I had sitting around the room. 
Now I want to try this one more time. In this case, it's a four foot long plastic tube. It's actually used to protect fluorescent lights and light fixtures. It has a rubber stop in the bottom, the foam sitting there, the long tube sitting here. Now let's add our solutions. We've made a number of density columns here and they're absolutely beautiful. Now the best thing about using salt solutions is I can let these sit for a number of weeks and the colors will slowly diffuse one into the other. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and come back and see me again.